Hi, welcome to Save Your Spot. I'm Peppy, and in this tutorial, I'm going to show you how to make face mask clip art. And all you need is some basic PowerPoint skills. So here are some that I made for. There are different styles how you can create one on your own. So go to new slide and choose blank. Go to shapes and you want to find the shape that looks like this and it's called delay. It's got a straight side and a curve. So, so click on that and draw, click and drag on your page and now you want to turn it okay turn it and that's going to be the top half of your mask so i recommend you make it quite big fairly big because it's easier to um, draw <clears throat> like that and then once you've finished you can shrink it into or enlarge it or do whatever you want so when you've done that Go to shape outline, choose a black outline. I always think um, clip art looks really cute with like a thick black outline. You don't have to do this part, but I am. Um, that's what I've done. So I'm going to choose four and a half. And here you've got the first section of your of the mask that you're going to create. So, um, sorry. So if you can see, this is the section that you have, the first part. Then you're going to copy, paste, so duplicate that basically. And then you're going to turn it round and there you have it. Okay, so that is your basic mask shape. Now you can either go wider, um, I'm going to go a little bit wider actually whatever you want, there you go. Now, you are going to go to shapes again and you're going to choose this one that says curve. Don't go to arc, you want to go to curve and that creates a nice sort of more natural curve where you're going to draw, click to make the curve and then double click to end. Okay, so there you have it. That's going to be like the fold of the mask. And again, black outline and weight. I'm going to make this one thicker because I, I like I like that different look. You know, it sort of like creates a bit of a shadow effect. You can do whatever you like. And again, I'm going to copy, paste again. So duplicate that, turn it around. And I'm going to put it here at the bottom. See? Easy. Do you see the mask shape there? Now, um, if you want, you can create these bits that go behind the ear. A little tip before I move on. If you want to put this little mask clip art on um, an image of a person, okay, it's going to be easier if you create a mask that doesn't have those ear things. Okay, so you want to create a simple one like this. And I recommend if you are going to shrink it, then to make the lines very, very thin. Okay, don't go for thick ones because when you shrink the thick lines, um, they become very, very dark. Unless you like that, of course, and then, I mean, that's up to you. So, do one without the ear things. Well, I don't even know what they're called. And then, put it over the, the clip art person and draw nice straight lines to the ears. Okay, that's just a little tip that I found. Works for me. So, back to our mask. This is your basic mask shape. Now, I'm just going to make those little ear pieces that go behind your ears just so that you can see 
how to do it. So you go to curve and you create a little curve shape. Remember to double click at the end, I always forget. And again, you want your outline, four and a half, I'm gonna make it, um, there you go. And again, you want to duplicate this. You can leave it like that, okay? So that's one option. And I'll do the same on the other side. Um, where is it? Curve, okay. And you go bang, bang. Double click to close it. Shape outline and um, I think four and a half. So you can either leave it like that Okay, you just need to be a little bit patient with this and like move it around. The good thing about having thick lines is that you can't see like any imperfections. And then you want to copy paste the same one, duplicate it. Okay, so on my Mac, I would go to Command Copy and then place, play around with it and see how you want it, how you like it. Sort of move it around. Okay, let's see. I'm a bit fussy about things. Okay, that's all right. Okay, so play around with it until you're happy. Do need just a little bit of patience. Okay, I'm happy. And now you can change the color of your mask to whatever color you want. So you highlight the whole, this section. Don't highlight the ear bits unless you want those of a particular color, I don't. And then you go to shape fill and you can choose whatever, oops. You can choose whatever color you want. Okay, green, uh, I'm gonna make it Mm. I've done this. I don't know what color I'm going to go for. Okay, I'm going to go to more fill colors and choose a new color. So I'm going to go for pink. Yes. Okay, there you have it. There's my pink mask. Now, to add little shapes, again, go to shapes and decide and see what shape would you like to put on your mask. It's got loads of nice um, shapes on here. So it's got Thunderbolt, uh, lightning bolt, um, the sun, the moon, cloud. I've used all of these. I haven't used the smiley face, so I'm going to go for that. And make it as big as you like. Color it. I'm going to make it bright yellow. And the outline, I'm going to make black. There you go. Did it turn black? Okay. Make it a little bit bigger. Gonna make the outline a little bit thicker, I think. There, perfect. And now I'm going to come on, click on it, command copy, command V uh, for my Mac, and keep on adding as many as you like. Put them wherever you want. This year we're all going to be wearing masks once school starts. And I am most definitely going to be needing these, I think, um, because children will be able to relate to them more so. Okay, I think that's plenty. And there you have it, right? Nice and easy. There you go, there's the finished result. Now, once you've done, don't forget to highlight everything and right click and group, group all that so now it's one um, it's all combined they're all combined and you can move it around now you can shrink it do you see okay do you see what I mean about the lines being thick um, when it's small you want the lines to be thin so if you plan on making little mini masks um, do a thin outline and there you have it Thanks for watching, I hope this was helpful and um, stay posted 
for more. Bye.